Hey everybody, Umar Rasti with Close Quarters Countermeasures. I wanted to address uh, a rear bear hunt today. Um, having some discussions about it, we did some work in class, and uh, a buddy of mine, Nick Drosos, who did a great video on uh, escaping from a rear bear, bear hunt, um, I wanted to address that uh, from a slightly different perspective or a little bit different way. So we just add to it. Remember, there's, not, there's never just one way to do things. Uh, it's just the more options you have, the better off you're gonna be, okay? In addressing any type of grab or hold, understand that you should really be primarily training to begin your escape before that is locked on, whether it's a bear hug or a choke or any type of submission like that, okay? So if you talk to any uh, BJJ guys, Aikido or grappling arts, they know escapes happen before they're fully applied, okay? So real quickly, if you're gonna train in this stuff, absolutely work on the drills, the technical part of your escape, but also work on your perception and your awareness and teach yourself to react as those things are being applied, okay? So if I'm over here and I'm getting a sense of, of that, that bear, bear hug, this is what I wanna start teaching myself to react to, right? When this comes into my peripheral vision, even if I'm talking to somebody, the sense of right there, okay? That's what you wanna start training yourself to react to. So when it gets applied quickly, your arms are coming up, you're getting moved on, okay? And as long as you can get something in here and create some space, you'll have an opportunity to escape. Same thing for like a rear choke. So it's just something to be aware of. Train yourself. Uh, go up high towards my throat, slowly please. That. You want to start picking up the sense for that choke. Ooh, right? If you do that pretty often, you'll start cueing in and peripheral vision to it. All right. So on to the primary part of this, okay? So we're going to assume that we weren't aware of our surroundings, we didn't do that drill, or we are really just preoccupied, okay? That bear hug gets applied, okay? All right? Let me put it a little bit lower, okay? You're absolutely, 100%, yeah, you, get, you need to drop. You need to drop your weight, even if you're a small person, okay? Because he's either, he's either going to pick you up and start slamming you into stuff, or tip you sideways and drop you down and start going to the ground and pound, right? The other option is he's holding you there and he has a buddy who's gonna start taking free shots at you, okay? So you need to drop. So one of the things that we do is we drop, but I drop and consciously off-center myself, okay? He's directly behind me now, center line to center line. So if I, if I drop, I'm gonna try and, and center myself out. Excuse me a little harder, okay? And as I do that, I'm gonna shoot my, one of my arms up as if I were trying to pull a sweater off my body. See my shoulders here? So I'm like, oh, like this. When I drop, I scoop my butt out, and I'm gonna shoot my right hand up, okay? That puts me in a position now where his body is exposed, center line, okay? If I just drop right here, okay? Even if I get his arms up, he's still right behind me. Now I have to try and resort to these bumps. I can't really get his groin that well because it's center line, center line. And most people that grab you, they know to stay close. Like I've been grabbing this, he'll take his hand and tuck it in tight behind me, so you can't really do these things, you know? So they're not gonna put you in a position where you can do some really cool stuff, right? But if you do that and you open the center as you drop, <clears throat> okay? Now you're in a spot. This might try to go to a choke, but that's why you teach yourself to go to this, and now you have opportunities to strike into the groin. Look at this. I mean, I want you to reach around and hold on to me now, okay? If I get to here, I'm stopping, like, I can't get a groin shot in there, just push this down, okay? The other thing about getting him back over that way, right? So if he grabs, if you go down, you grab his tight, right? He's not going to be able to lock that choke on. You can get your shots in, into the groin, come into here, take this out. If you have my pretty, you can sit right at his knee, okay? Now just cover up. <laughs> you don't want to get stuck in this position. Hopefully you don't have to fight from here. Please leave it if you can start doing your other escapes, okay? Remember, don't go to the ground unless you have to, or things will go badly because, again, if he's got buddies, you're gonna get stomped on. Okay? But just a couple quick things to think about. Drop your center, but you want to scoot out towards the center line. Shoot that arm up to slip the shoulders up off of you. Don't pull forward. Don't do this, right? If I drop and pull forward, I'm gonna have him jump on top of my back, okay? This is a lot harder to fight from, okay? So drop, shoot center, shoot the arm up and over. It's 
actually really easy. Okay, once you get here, lock this on, and now you have a lot more options. What are you gonna do? Get to here, peel this off. All right, lasses, right? Push it, whatever you're gonna do, okay? All right, thanks for watching. Uh, take care.